the cock 45 here with a glock 45 oh man look at that nothing like big old 45 acp bullets is there big old fat boys so much fun to shoot i love them but can't use them today it's a nine millimeter yes the glock 45 is a nine millimeter don't tell anybody okay that doesn't make sense does it let's just shoot it and see if it'll shoot hot dog <laughs> so far it seems to shoot <laughs> we'll save a few uh, rounds for later how's that yes it is a glock 45 model uh and as uh, you may have learned recently, if you know anything about Glocks, the, uh, the model numbers simply reflect their, uh, the patent number, okay? You know, where they are in their patents. The Glock 17 was their 17th patent, and et cetera. And Glock 19 with their 19th patent has nothing to do with caliber, size of the firearm, or anything. And uh, maybe that's okay, you know, because you know there's no rhyme or reason that you know that the Glock model has nothing to do <laughs> with uh, you know the size of it and, and the caliber, generally speaking. So anyway, that's what we're looking at today. You all been requesting it, and uh, the, we. Uh, so it's not a 45, and you know we have this with Glocks now. We have the Glock 40, and of course it's not a big issue till we get into you know like that. I know when the 40 came out, the model 40, you know because because 40 caliber Glocks, you know, are really common and really popular and that kind of thing. Just like 45 caliber Glocks. So whenever that patent <laughs> number, you know, hits something like that, that that's, uh, you know, parallel to a caliber uh, cartridge, and it's, it can be confusing, can it? It's of, so so the, the Glock 40 is actually, model 40 is actually a 10 millimeter. So it's actually in the ballpark, right? Because a 10 millimeter is 40 caliber. But still, there's no relationship there. This is random. It's random, like me. So this is, uh, uh, you know, the, the the story on this firearm basically is it, you've got the Glock 17 frame size and length with a Glock 19 slide size. Okay, like the 19X that came out not long ago, except you know, it was in a flat, dark earth, I guess, or and uh, and it was only available in that that color. And it was designed, you know, mainly for the military. You know, it had the lanyard loop and all that. And it, apparently, it was really popular. Uh, it's from what I have read, they sold a bunch of those. People uh, flocked to that more so than I would have expected. Really, I kind of bashed the trigger. I mean, the, the farm is fine, but it's really selling well. And I think now you have kind of the same gun, a little different. I'll point out some of those differences. Uh, in you know in the black finish which most people tend to prefer I think uh, and it was kind of targeted for law enforcement and civilian use uh, I think this will do even better okay got the front serrations and you got a Glock 19 slide on a Glock 17 grip basically and a lot of people like that a lot more people than I would have expected so let's go ahead and shoot these hollow points and I'll tell you some lies about it how's that you might even believe some of them you never know we had a little fire going in the burn barrel, then they stir it up a little bit. Boom. <laughs> uh, let's shoot a pumpkin since it's October. <laughs> yeah, go pumpkin. <laughs> Get him on the run. Let's put one in that big pumpkin. a couple of holes of him. Uh oh no let's smoke some pot first. Yeah so those were hollow points. The points of those bullets were hollow. All right this one is not. Nope, still smokes a pot. Let's shoot that target. I think the sights are right on. Uh, by the way, again, those targets go in the uh, the box with the firearm. We send them back to the buds, and uh, 
you know, for the e-gunner auction. So that's where those targets go on, on these firearms. On the other, sometimes I, I put them on eBay and, it's, and uh, most of it goes to charity or I take them to a meet and greet or whatever. Let's put one on the gong. I woke up the old gong. That's all the ammo I have on me. Oh, I can smell that. I keep forgetting to tell you all for, uh, oh, I don't know, three months, I guess. I've been using Lucas Oil uh, gun cleaner, the CLP, on the firearms we get in from buds that, that go back just, just to experiment with it. And, and a few of my own just experimenting with it. It seems to do, do fine. I know a lot of y'all use that, so I'm just kind of experimenting with it. And... Uh, the verdict's out, but but it seems to do okay. I can't get used to a different smell, but uh, I still use Balsol on most of my firearms, but I'm using that on uh, some of my own and then on all of them that come in and go back, just, I don't know, for consistency's sake and to try some different things. Boom. All right. So, yeah, uh, I'm not going to do too much comparison. I don't have the 19X in, uh, comparison with it because I really think uh, it's, it's more important to talk about where it fits in the Glock lineup for firearms that, that you're going to be buying, you're considering. Uh, not as many of you, I think, I could be wrong, are looking to go buy the 19X. Uh, if you did, you already got it probably. But it's like that in the sense that it does have the 19 slide on a 17 size uh, uh, frame or grip, but they've, uh, you know, you don't have the finger grips and they've, they've filled in this gap down here and uh, unlike on the Gen 5, like this is a Gen 5 Glock 19, you know, you've got that cutout down there. So they've done away with that. And of course, on the 19X, that you had a lip down here, uh, which is a little bit problematic because the Gen 5 uh, magazines wouldn't work in it. Or they, they, they hit on that. Uh, so that's something to think about. Uh, to me, that's a big negative on that 19X to have a Glock and, and there be any magazines that don't work in it that are long enough, I, I wouldn't like that. So this would be my choice if I decided I wanted, uh, you know, the 17 size frame and a 19 size slide, because this will take any Glock magazine that is long enough for it, okay? I mean, it'll take a 19, I've got a 19 here somewhere, uh, but it, you know, it won't work, it doesn't go in far enough. But that's, that's the same for any, any gun, okay? It's not gonna click because it's too short. This is a, a long grip. Uh, so, you know, that would be an issue, okay? So you've got that lip on the Gen 5 mags, okay? I guess you could change out the base pad and, you know, plate and correct that, you know. But anyway, I, uh, I like, this would be my choice if I, if I wanted this configuration, all right? And it's got that new, all the Gen 5 stuff, you know, the, that new finish that I'm not crazy about because it's so slippery. It's like going back into the 90s. I hated the finish on some of those Glocks in the 90s, traded them off for that reason. And I like the Gen 4 finish much better, more of a matte finish, you can get a better grip on it. I just and I like the looks of it even better, more like the original Glocks. But this is supposed to be a super duper finish, and uh, whatever they say, that might be why they put these serrations up here. So, well, we, we got this super slick slide again, maybe we better give them some uh, uh, front serrations you know, to help them out. because. You just don't, even with the serrations, you don't get that sharp feel where you get as much of a grip on them as you do with the Gen 4 uh, Glocks. These are both Gen 5. This is the, the 19 Gen 5. Okay. It's a little better than that new one, actually, uh, in terms of the grip. So, uh, Gen 5 stuff, you know, basically, you know, no finger grooves. You got your flare and magwell, just like the 19. Uh, you don't have that cut out. People were pinching their, their hands on that, and I can understand why. Uh, I've done that with firearms before where it catches you up there, you know, as it's going in. Uh, you need a Glock 19 mag for it to catch you, but, you know, with a, with a big lip on it and you get pinched down there. If you're squeezing that thing and you get that mag up in there, it can easily pinch you. So that's good. No reason to have that really anyway. I'm not crazy about the flared, uh, the mag well down there uh, at all, but, you yeah, know, whatever. Some people like it. Uh, so it's kind of a Gen, it is a Gen 5, you know, Glock. Uh, so you got your serrations, you, uh, you know, you've got all your Gen 5 characteristics there, done away with the, the cutout. Uh, 
like I say, there's no lanyard loop like you have on, on that 19X. And of course it's in black. Uh, interesting gun and I think it will do well. Uh, from what I've read, it was kind of targeted for, for law enforcement. I think a lot of people like the, the 19X, but they wanted kind of the same firearm in, in black, the standard you know color of a Glock. Everybody didn't want that, the other color. And uh, you know, from what I read, I, it's hard to believe it makes that much difference, but having a shorter slide does if you're in and out of a car a lot. I mean, I understand that is, but I'm, I'm just saying that, that little bit of difference, I'm surprised that's a big difference when you've got a big duty belt and you've got 19 things hanging on it anyway, but you know, every little bit helps. So that's a little more attractive. Uh, and you know, if you're wearing it open, like, like police would or, or anybody could in most states, uh, you know, the grip is not a big deal. And if you have a good holster and you, you know how to conceal a firearm, if you're carrying, get your carry permit and everything. A lot of people carry Glock 17. I prefer, as you know by now, the Glock 19 grip. I, I, it's just much more convenient, shoots great. But a lot of people like the bigger grip, the, nine, the 17 size grip and uh, so so for me uh, bottom line i think is the 19x is, is a fine firearm but it's got some limitations there i think and you know the color and everything so it sold a bunch apparently i think going forward this is the one if you're looking for that configuration this is the one's going to sell probably like probably 10 to 1 or 5 to 1 over that 19x is my guess uh, and I think this will, you'll really like this if you like the 17. Maybe you carry a 17. The grip doesn't bother you, the length of the grip. Now this one's all Frankenstein up, but it feels great. <laughs> it feels great. Uh, this is a 17. It's what it takes for a 17 to feel good to me. Uh, if you like the 17, the size of the grip is, is fine with you. I think you're the one who's probably the market you know, for, for the Glock 45. So all you need to decide is, is how it feels to you and having a shorter slide. A 17 kind of with a shorter slide. That's really what a 45 is essentially. And so you might pick this up and think, man, I like that, that slide. I don't need that long a slide and it balances better. You know, I've, I've seen Such talk about, it. he really likes the balance of it. And I'm gonna shoot all three here and see what I kind of discern from that. I know I really like, and you know I do, because I've done two or three videos on the FN 509, and it's this configuration, isn't it? Essentially, it's the long slide, I think hold 17, or grip, with the shorter slide. Uh, but one of the main reasons I like that firearm so much is the grip feels so good. Not because it's long, it just fits my hand like a glove, and it's just a well-made firearm. The Glock 17 grip doesn't fit my hand like a glove. It never has. You've heard me badmouth them, and I, that's why I prefer the, the 19 and, and always have for a long time. Unless I can Frankenstein one up enough to where it's kind of a, a straight back here. And none of the replaceable back straps do it for me. None of them, none of them fill that in and give it a, a really a straight back strap. Okay, this sort of does. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was a work of art. So, trying to throw a lot at you there. I know too fast, but uh, but that's what you've got. You've got a Gen 5 Glock that's basically a kind of a combination of the 19 slide, 17 grip. And it does feel good. One of the things I'll do, I'll just go ahead and do it. You know, that way I've got three guns I have to clean. I'm gonna go ahead and take a few shots with each one. I'm not sure this feels all that much better to me in terms of balance. Uh, although, you know me, I like smaller firearms, even Glocks, the 26, 27. So a short slide is, not going to bother me how it feels in conjunction with that longer grip and everything let's just take a few shots and see what uh what i think okay not that what i think matters a lot but let's do there's the some ammo we're shooting the same ammo on each one okay that's uh, let's go ahead and uh, if i have it i think i loaded some yeah some block 19 mags just so they're all flush they feel the same and the 17, uh, well, if you, uh, 17 mag, of course. Okay, same ammo. All right, so we've got a Glock 17, we've got the Glock 45, and the Glock 19. Uh, well, I guess the biggest comparison, well, I don't know, is the 17 and the 45. See how much difference I feel, okay? Same ammo, 
Uh, same spring and everything. All right, let's take a few shots with this baby. And I'll just share, share the wealth here. Okay, I'm gonna put it in my holster while that's fresh on my mind and get the Glock 45 out. All right, Glock 45. Shoot a plate. Let's shoot a plate with the other one. Still hot. I don't know. I noticed just a little more jump with this. Uh, I don't know, they're both empty now. Let me get, so if I pick them up, they're both empty, and just feel the weight and the, the feel of it, and out of the holster, uh, it's, it's a handy, obviously it's a handy little pistol, I can't tell a lot of difference in just the quickness to sight it. I'm going to try that again, though. Let's get two more mags. I'm going to come out of the holster. See if I can tell much difference here. All right, I'll make them both hot. I'll make that one hot. All right. Block 45, right? Yeah. <laughs> Good little shooter, no complaints. Block 17. I don't know. I, uh, I can't tell a lot of difference. Uh, I like the trigger a little better. They have different triggers. This one has more of a wall, like I like. And uh, these new Glocks, these Gen 5 Glocks, tend to have kind of a rolling trigger. Like, kind of like a, reminds me of a little bit of a, an LCR Ruger Revolver, which I kind of like. You know, they got a nice even and roll, and then they, they come back and break. But you don't have the wall that I like, if you know what I'm talking about with a trigger where you've got take up and then a, a distinct wall and you know that that wall is what you're looking to break. When you break that wall, bang. Well, you, you get kind of a stop, stop sort of wall, but then it comes on back further with some creep sort of and rolls on back and then fires. <laughs> it doesn't affect as much uh, in reality just shooting as it, as it does if you just pick it up and, and and evaluate the trigger. Yeah, you know, for example, I don't like that trigger as much as this one, but when I'm actually shooting it, I remember having that experience with some XDMs. Yeah, you know, about the trigger, it's got some creep, it feels like, and all that. But then when you load it up and come out here and shoot the thing, you shoot it just fine. So, you know, that's that's kind of perplexing. Uh, but it does have that trigger that's kind of a rolling trigger no wall really uh the x the 19x was like that that i had in every one i picked up to tell you the truth but a lot of people like that they like that trigger uh so but i th the only biggest difference i can discern is uh of course the grip feels different but a little more a little more jump but not much you know uh yeah i'll tell you there's just not a lot of difference not a lot of difference now, as far as picking up the sight, you know, maybe, maybe you don't have as much sight radius. It might be a little quicker to acquire the front sight, you know, on the shorter slide. And that's kind of a characteristic of a shorter gun. Let's go ahead and shoot the 19 and remind myself about it. All right. All right, 19, Gen 5. Yeah. 
feels good. Uh, yeah, and of course the grip is shorter, so you don't have quite as much uh, support, but you don't really need it, you know? Uh, so, so a lot of it will come down to your experience shooting, I think. There's not a lot of difference. You're talking maybe 5% difference, you know, across the board, you know, for, for me. But now if you're a new shooter, it could be 50% difference, you know, between this and that because you've got the short grip, you know. Uh, I would recommend, so I'm not a lot of help, right? I would recommend you, uh, you know, at a range you really rent because, you know, Glocks are so common. You can rent these in an indoor range and shoot them. Try to shoot the same ammo, see what you think, and, uh, you know, just based on your experience. But, you know, I can take a Glock 26 and pretty much hit whatever I want to hit with it. So I have shot small Glocks, large Glocks, uh, pretty extensively. Your evaluation would maybe be different than mine, you know, if you haven't shot a, a lot. But let me do it one more time. It's kind of what we're here about, the 17. Some of you may be looking to decide between, uh, you know, among these three, actually. Uh, my choice is the 19 still, especially if I'm going to carry it. Okay, and it's just handier. It's just handier with that short grip. And I've got a mag here. Yeah, I've got a couple of mag. Let's just shoot this one a couple more times. I know what I'll do. Let's, uh, yeah, I'll cut loose on the stop sign, five or six shots out of the holster. All right. Let's put that same magazine in the Glock 17. Out of the holster. I think, uh, yeah, a little more control, little, little less muzzle rise. Imagine that, you know, with a heavier slide. Just a little less, but not enough to matter. Not enough to matter. So it really comes down to, the, I think, your size requirements. You know, whether you want a firearm that has a shorter grip for carry, it's not going to protrude as much maybe, uh, what your experience is. There are some people who they, they cannot stand a pistol with a grip shorter than a Glock 17. Whatever make you're talking about, whether it's an XDM or a Ruger or an m and they've got to have that long grip. And uh, for you folks, you definitely want to look at this because you really don't need the long slide, you know. So this might be really what the doctor ordered. Apparently, it's what the doctor has ordered for a lot of people. If, the, if what I'm hearing and reading about the 19X is true, that they've sold a lot of those things. So apparently, I mean, I'm surprised. I was genuinely surprised at that, that uh, that has been so well received, if that's all true. So based on that, uh, I think uh, this might be worthy of your attention if so many people like that configuration, uh, you probably want to take a look at the Glock 45. If, unless you're a Glock hater, you, know, you hate Glocks, okay? Uh, so, yeah, what else could I tell you about it? I didn't tell you. You know, the pricing, I think, is the same as all mostly for Glocks. You know, there, there's no big mysteries about the Glocks. You've got the uh, ambidextrous slide lock on, on the Gen 5s, you know, and all that. So, so that's something that's appealing to a lot of people, the reversible uh, mag release. And of course they're, guess what? They break down like a Glock, you know? And they kind of look like a Glock inside, right? And they've got that uh, that special, what's that thing called? I always forget. It's that uh, uh, MB something, but it's a, it's a kind of a match barrel with a, a little deeper rifling, it's supposed to have better rifling. It's crowned in the front. So it's more of a match barrel, okay? Again, just shooting, you're not gonna be able to tell the difference, you know, offhand messing around but uh, maybe, maybe somebody could. So it, it's supposed to be an upgrade, you know, the, uh, for the Gen 5. Uh, nothing essential, of course. So if you, if you kind of like Glocks, you've got several, and you're looking at these models, the 1917, the, the 40, <coughs> excuse me, 45, uh, you yeah, know, something to look at. I don't think you can go wrong with, uh, with, with any size. If you're looking for a nine millimeter, and of course there's others, but as far as a defensive firearm, a carry firearm, a home defense, or whatever, a nine millimeter, and you want a Glock, uh, you're good with any of these. You know, uh, these are very, very popular, right? All three of these, well, these two, and this one probably will be Glock 45. So, 
I'm, I'm uh, pleased to get the opportunity to shoot it and uh, kind of give you my impressions. Uh, and again, I, I shoot Glock so much. Uh, uh, on one hand, I can see the subtle differences because, you know, John and I shoot them so much. But then again, because we shoot so many different sizes so much, uh, you know, I, I'm sounding arrogant here. I mean, we can handle, because we shoot them so much, we can handle any size well enough, okay? Uh, so it's hard to, to know what might suit you based on your experience and everything. Because I know when someone hasn't shot a handgun before, I see videos of someone shooting a 9mm for the first time, or they're just new shooters, and they're aiming on an indoor range often, you know, and boom, you know, and boom, you know. It's just a big deal to pull the trigger on a center fire pistol for them because they've not done that before. So it kind of depends where you are. That'd be kind of the one end of the continuum, then someone who shoots thousands of rounds a month on the other end. So it's a little different uh, evaluation for based on your experience. But anyway, I, I'm rattling on, I know. But the 45 is pretty cool. Just remember, if you don't remember anything else, the Glock 45 is, is a nine millimeter. And it actually changes the way we kind of talk about models, doesn't it, in a way. We need to say, yeah, it's a Glock Model 45, rather than, yeah, I bought a Glock 45, because people, if they said that in the past, it meant they bought a Glock 21, you know, or a Glock 41 or something. So that's about all I know that I can lie about. Uh, good feeling gun and, uh, you know, uh, not much to hate unless you just hate Glocks. But uh, glad to have a chance to shoot it and, and show you. And, you know, you know uh, another amazing thing happened today. Do you notice that? We emptied most of the mags here, and uh, guess what? There were no malfunctions with any of these. So, you know what, I've got a mag left. I can't just let that uh, ride. <laughs> let's empty it. Let's empty it. Let's, uh, let's go over there and shoot the, the gong a little bit and something, whatever I decide to shoot. Glock 19, hard to beat. I'm gonna try that pig. Yeah, pounding that buffalo, but he's not gonna fall. Let's try uh, that uh, plate hanging there. See what I mean? I don't like the trigger on that. It doesn't have the wall and everything I was talking about and the crisp, nice crisp break. But when you go to shooting them, I don't know. I do all right. I do all right. So all three of them very shootable and uh, you could not go wrong with any of those. In fact, just go buy all three, right? No, I uh, appreciate y'all stopping in and uh, you know taking a look at the Glock 45 with us. It's a new Glock and uh, one you might I have some interest in so life is good oh hey welcome to the end of the video just uh clear out this pumpkin for our annual pumpkin carving video but since you're here i want to remind you to check out our friends over at sdi the sonoran desert institute they're a fully accredited online distance learning program where you can be certified in gunsmithing or get an associate's degree in firearms technology so go check them out at sdi.edu and also, while you're on the internet, make sure you check out our own website. We have merchandise like this. Some of it will be limited. This shirt may not be available, but we have several that are going to be available uh, across the board. Hickok45.com. We kept it simple for you. So go over to Hickok45.com. Check that out. We've got merchandise over there. Um, there's links to all of our other social media, like Hickok45 on Facebook, uh, Hickok45 on Twitter, the real Hickok45 on Instagram. I have an Instagram page that I use uh, quite often. I show some back uh, behind the scenes and different things like that. Uh, John underscore Hickok45 uh, Instagram. And then uh, there's a Hickok45 and Son YouTube channel. Um, and there is full30.com. Don't forget to check that out. And I think that's about it. I appreciate you guys. And I'll talk to you later.